why they will now begin to send for all their friends and you could not send for your friends to come when your parents were alive you could not bring them to your house you were not bold you are ashamed I smell aura <laughs> that's the meaning aura smell so they want to make him smell good at dead but when he was alive you can smell anyhow holy ghost i will enjoy the fruit of my labor before my time on earth is over in jesus great name we pray now because of time oh i didn't know time has gone this far see that see that look at verse 27 genesis 27 to 7 and he came there when he brought the father food and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord had blessed that is how your parents deal with you this is what is called aura of favor so the father poured it on David but pardon on Jacob if you read that verse 28 he began to bless him See somebody here, I announce to you, you shall be mightily blessed. Your mother's children will bow before thee. If only you know how to win the hearts of your parents. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 27, let people serve thee. That is the father blessing the son. And nations bow down to thee. And be Lord over thy brethren. Wow! Why? He took care of the father. The father Paul smell. Of good smell upon him, the all of favor followed him. He said, Let me bow down before thee. Thy father's children bow before thee. Nations serve thee. Nations serve thee. Nations serve thee. Nations serve thee. And let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that cursed thee. And bless be everyone that blessed thee. Give, take care of somebody when he's alive, not when he's dead. Hey, look up here. That's the reason why I don't love this man in the Bible. They call Joseph of Arimathea. He's not my favorite at all. I don't love him. To be honest with you, despite all what he did towards Jesus' burial, I don't love him. To be honest with you, how can somebody die when the person was alive? Didn't visit the person. The person had died. You now customize a grave to bury the person. So you were part of my burial. So a part of wishing me dead before. There are some people here. So many of you here. When somebody is sick, you can't even go visit the person. But tomorrow, if the person dies, you wear the highest clothes. You are a suspect. You didn't hear what I said. You are what? You're a suspect. In your neighborhood, watch. Some people will be sick. None of the relatives will go and visit the person. But the day the person dies, you will see all manner of cars on the streets driving in driving in the person may die in one room the person may die out of one girl but you see all manner of cars driving in and they're all back please we are looking for so and so and so they say look at the place you see them you are going to the house of the person now and when they got there they will give them cheer they will sit down and you look at the kind of cars they brought you now wonder so this person has this kind of relatives village people brothers sisters and they suffer till they die and the day the person dies all of them they will arrange their motto to escort the person to the grave hi hi when somebody is alive take care of that person favor that person no one is dead that's the reason why I don't even believe when people die, they begin to spend so much. I don't believe in that. Spend so much when the person is alive, not when he's dead. And I hear it's an aura of favor. May aura of favor follow you when you are alive, not when you are dead. Not when you are dead, your brethren in oversee. Lawyers, doctors, engineers, great men and great women, they begin to come out. But when you were alive, none of them visited you. Holy Ghost. Go to John chapter 19, quickly, John 19. John 19, open it. John 19, very fast, very fast. John 19, John 19. John 19, go there, very fast. Go to John 19. Thank you. Thank you, God bless you. John 19, 38. Verse 38. 
He's talking about the story of Jesus. How he lived, how he was judged, and how he died. And when Jesus died, look up here, everyone read now. When Jesus died, and after this, why did you wait until after? Why did you wait until after? And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, be the disciple of Jesus, but secretly for the fear of the Jews. So you are a disciple. But when the man was alive, they never had your name. Brother, you chose to be a secret disciple. I pray for somebody here. Every secret follower and disciple to you, may God remove them far from your life. If I'm not worthy for you to come out boldly and say, This is my friend, please stay clear. Stay where? Clear. Stay clear. Stay clear. But secrets. Secretly for the fear of the Jews, you see, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. So this man had this power that he even knows where to get Pilate. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> Pilate gave him leave. And he came therefore and took the body of Jesus. There are people who take glory when you are dead. They come to be the one to bury you so that everybody will give them praise. May you never have such as friends anymore. 39. 39. Any help you want to help me? Help me. Give me that or that favor aura when I'm alive, not when I'm dead. And there came also Nicodemus. Look at Nicodemus. The one that came to Jesus by night. Eh? Which at the first came to Jesus by night. When they arrested Jesus Christ, Nicodemus did not come out. Joseph of Arimathea did not come. They all waited. These are mighty people that have power. That would have walked up to Pilate. These are honorable members of the state house. They would have walked up to Pilate to defend Jesus Christ. But all of them stayed back until he died. And immediately he died. They all came out with their big regalia march with escorts and they went to carry the body these are the kind of brothers you have these are the kind of sisters you have these are the kind of children we have all over around us the day you will die they will now begin to send for all their friends and you could not send for your friends to come when your parents were alive you could not bring them to your house you are not bold. You are ashamed. Go on. Go on. Yes. Go on. Yes. And brought. Okay. 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 Now look at verse 9. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and alloys. These are costly perfume. Aura. Someone say aura. I talked about perfume. Aura. Are you hearing me now? Aura speaks of saints. Perfume. Uh, smell, aura. Uh -huh. That's the meaning. Aura. Smell. So they want to make him smell good at death. But when he was alive, you can smell anyhow. Holy Ghost! Rise on your feet. Say, I reject such people around me. Why, why, why are you people so weak today now? Huh? Am I eating your heart? Okay, let me calm down a bit. Eh? Some of you, some of you, they regret now. Some of you, they even cry. <laughs> uh, is it true of us? Some of you are feeling it now. Say that I brought a mixture of mare and alloys, about hundred pound weight. What is it for? Mixture of mare alloys, about hundred pound weight. Let's see why they brought it. They never brought it when he was alive. It was when he was dead. Nicodemus came to him by night. Joseph of Arimathea was not bold to come out and say, he's my friend. Because of the Jews. Now he's dead. He came out and said, he's my friend. I need the body. I, I wish the dead they see. I wish the dead see. If the dead see so many things, I don't know. Sometimes if not slap, not small. Then I took them. You see, two of them. 
there and took there the body of Jesus and wounded it in a lining cloth with spices. So it's the spices. The spice everywhere. As the manner of the Jews is to bury. The spices. Spice me when I'm alive, not when I'm dead. Am I talking to somebody here? Spice me when I am what? Alive. Not when I'm dead. You begin to celebrate me. You put my name in different newspaper, on television, everywhere. Do you know how much it takes to put name on television? On newspaper? Do you know what it costs? Look at it here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sit down. I want to show you more things. So go to Mark chapter 15. Mark 15. Quick, 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 quick. No time, no time. Mark 15 for the three. Mark 15 for the three. Very fast, very fast. The one that shocked me most is that they say the man even fear God. I said, how can you say this man fear God? Now in the place for the three, for the three, for the three, for the three. Joseph of Aramathia, an honorable counselor. Hey! So he made this man was an honorable, a member of the state house. And Jesus was being tried in the state house, and the man never came. He did nothing until they killed him. Until he died, he came out. May God never allow you to have some people around you. Because if you have some people around you, you will suffer till the day you will die. I'm telling you. An honorable, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate. So the man could go in boldly. And he could not go boldly when they were flogging him. He went there until they flogged him, tear his body. He didn't go boldly. But when he died, he went in boldly. What kind of bold is that one? Bold should come when he was uh, alive. And crave the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if you were already dead. These are the kind of people you have around you. Eh? You don't die. Hey, you don't die. Hey, you don't die. They are waiting to hear your bad news. They will never hear it. And calling unto him, the centurion, he asked him whether he had been anywhere dead. Is it true? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, read on. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. May you never give my body to somebody who never cared when I was alive. I said they shall not give your body like that. Is that all? Is that all? And he bought fine lining. Can you imagine? Fine lining talks about fine clothes. Clothes that he did not buy for you when he was alive. Let me ask you. Who they forbid to wear fine clothes when in their life? Sometimes when even you wear fine clothes, you admire yourself. Is it true us? Sometimes when you look at people who wear fine clothes, even you too, they admire them. And you never, eh? You say, he admired me today. Oh, he's not admired me before. <laughs> today on. Eh, you say? That's special. Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise God. She said today on look special. You look handsome. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I love, I love that. I love that. You know, <laughs> I have so much to do, I don't know what to do with them. So much, so much. So much wears, I don't know what to do with them. Sometimes to wear clothes, they tire me. I just wear anything, carry shirts, put on top. I have so much, don't know what to do with them. But sometimes, <laughs> depending on me, you're not my size. Because those who are my size benefit a lot. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Now, when you read that scripture, you understand something there. There is so much to say about this man. So you are this kind of personality. Yet you never care for this man until he died. I pray for you. May you be remembered by high personalities. When you are alive and not when you are dead. So this man had to go and buy fine linen, fine clothes, and wear him fine suits. What is this sense of fine suit when somebody is dead? You can buy him suits, customized suits. Wear him fine shoe. If I'm to be the dead, then what you will see, you will not like me. Somebody didn't hear me. 
and I'm here in fine linen. Ah! When I read that of fine linen, I cried. Fine linen you could not buy for Jesus when he was alive. Now he's dead. They want to buy. Go on, go on. And he bought him fine linen. He <laughs> wants to even shock me that he bought him. And who was he buying for? A dead person. And he said he bought him fine linen. For his mind now, he has bought him clothes. And took him down and wrapped him in a lining and led him in a sepulchre which was healed out of a rock and rolled a stone onto the door of the sepulchre. Joseph, you are a suspect. Big suspect. Big one. Go to look quickly. Look. Look. Look 23. Very fast. I want to share something. Look 23. Still on Joseph. Still on Joseph. Luke 23 verse 50. Verse 50. Luke 23 verse 50. 50 to 53. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor. And he was a good man and a just man. To me, he was not. The same had not consented to the counsel and the deed of them. He was of Aramathia, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. Yes? This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Uh -huh. And he took it down and wrapped it in a lining and laid it in a sepulchre that was hid in the stone. We are never a man before he was laid. Whether they put 100 people there or one person, the one who is there that they put there, does he know what is happening? Huh? Why spending one, 10 million naira to buy one coffin to bury a dead person? When he was alive, how much did you give to the person to eat? How much? That is the reason why I respect the woman that brought Allah past us. I respect her so much. Please clap for that woman. Mark chapter 14. Go there. The Alabasta boss woman, I respected her so much. More than Joseph of Aramathia. Wherever you are hearing me this morning, may you be like the woman of the Alabaster boss. If you are saying them, I say it well. Mark chapter 14. Go to verse 3. Mark 14. Quickly, verse 3. When Jesus was alive, and being in Bethany in the house of Simeon, the leper, as he sat at me, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spinacat. Very precious. Some say very costly. Some say very expensive. And she broke the box and poured it on his head. She brought a perfume. Very costly. All right. That has very cost. Precious. Preciousness around it. And there was some that had indignation within themselves. These are people you see around you. And said, why waste? Why was this waste of the ointment made? Now you get her. Now you own. You see the kind of people we have in this land? Eh? Very wicked people. Sometimes when you suffer to get your money, and you are, they will tell you how to get your money. You are not hearing me. They will even tell you the kind of how, how to the kind of house supposed to live. See, let me tell you, this aura of favor shall follow you, and nobody will dictate for you how to enjoy it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what shocked me there? Yes, for it might have been sold for more than three hundred pence and have been given to the poor, and they murmured against her. This was a woman that brought a very wonderful aura of favor. Favor Jesus Christ with a very wonderful perfume, smell, and broke it on him. And they began to fight this woman. And Jesus said, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She had wrought a good work on me. She had wrought a good work on me. For he, for ye rather, have the poor with you always. But whomsoever, and whomsoever, he will, ye may do them good. But me, ye have not always. Verse 8. She had done what she could. She is come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. So this one anointed this costly perfume on Jesus Christ before his death. Please celebrate this woman. Verse 9. Verily I say unto you, 
wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world this also that she had done shall be spoken of for memorial of her stand to your feet this woman came with a very precious ointment aura and the bible says she gave all to christ and christ said this that this woman has done is before my burial so give to one who is alive when he's alive let him enjoy it even just say leave her leave her leave her don't worry her she's done something notable something noble something good something great leave her don't trouble her for that which she's done is a very good thing she's done do it before my burial not after my burial not after my, i'm dead but if i'm dead raise up your heart i pray for somebody here anyone around you that refuse to connect you when you are alive may they never connect you when you are dead raise up say anyone around you i declare say anyone around me i declare that does not know me today when i'm alive oh god of fcdc remove them from my life connect me to people that will remember me when i'm alive wherever you are begin to pray the prayer wherever you are on the gallery wherever you are in the overflow anywhere you are begin to pray the prayer begin to pray the prayer all right of favor all right of favor all right of favor In Jesus mighty name we pray I prophesy to you over there receive aura of favor aura of favor as you leave me today you will begin to smell good people far away from you they will begin to acknowledge you I see people coming to help you in that your business when you go there there is this aura that will follow you you are not hearing me viewers are you hearing me overflow are you hearing me Gallery, are you hearing me? Raise up your hands. I pour this oil on you. Wherever you are, may you smell good. You will smell good to your business. You smell good to where you are working. In your area of career, you shall smell good. Aura that make people run away from you, I remove it. I give you aura of favor that make people to come around me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, this aura is a spiritual thing. I pour it on you. I pour it on you. Rise up and receive it. Say, I 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 receive it. 